Hello folks, welcome to the fourth episode of the React Native Messenger application demonstration video series. In today's episode, I am going to explain you about the chatting screen of our application. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into the demonstration. As you are able to see, we are currently on our home screen. There is a single unread message from this user. So now I am going to open up this conversation to see what happens. As you could see, this is the previous conversation I had with that user. Let's go back to see the number of unread messages were updated on the home screen or not. Alright, as you could see now it shows there are 0 unread messages from that user, which means our application has successfully updated in on the database. Alright, let's open up that conversation again. As you could see, this is the user interface of our chatting screen. First on top of this user interface, you could see the profile picture of the user that we are having our conversation with. Then here's the name of that user. This side shows messages that we received from that user. Then the other side shows messages that were sent by us. If we want to send a message, we could enter that on this field and click on this button to send it. So now I'm going to send one just for the demonstration sake. Alright, as you could see, it was quickly updated on here. Then this tick mark is indicating whether our message was seen by the receiver or not. If it was seen by the receiver, this app will indicate it in green. But if a message wasn't seen yet, this will indicate in red like this. So that's all about the user interface. Let's get into the coding part of this. Alright, now we are on VS Code and as you could see, I am currently showing homepage.js file. When clicking on a conversation with the user on our home screen, it loads up this chat navigator function. When navigating to the chatting page to reveal the conversation that I had with that user, this function passes name, id and the profile picture of that user inside this username object constant. Then finally this line is navigating us to the chat page. Alright, now let's go to the chat page.js file. As you could see from the top of this JS document, I am importing various React hooks like this. Then I am importing React Native Async Storage hook like this. Then I am importing third party installed React hook Fontosum like this. Inside this chat function, I am setting up constants for the sending chat text and for the chat history. Then I am defining their use states like this. Then inside this asynchronous function send request, we are creating a form data like this. Then we are getting details of the logged in user from messing storage of the device. Since those user details are JSON encoded, we are decoding those like this. Then we are appending ID of the logged in user to the form data like this. Then we are appending ID of the second user passed from the home page like this. Then from bottom of that function, we are sending our request to the PHP side using POST method like this. Then according to the response array we are receiving from PHP side, these codes are setting up chat history like this. Then here is an asynchronous function called sendChat. When we are sending a text, this is the function that is getting called. Inside of the asynchronous function, we are creating a variable named request object containing ID of the sender, ID of the receiver and message. Then we are JSON encoding that request object and appending it into a form data. Then 
then from the bottom of the testing function we are sending our request to the php side using post method like this then inside this uijs constant you can see the design of our ui components Then this chat item function creates each and every message shown on the chat screen. Then inside this UIJS constant you can see the design of our UI components. Then finally I have done the stylizing part of our UI like this. Alright now let's get into the PHP side. As you could see this is the loadchat.php file. From top of this we are getting id of the logged in user. Then we are getting id of the second user that they are having their conversation with. Then we are selecting messages from our database those were shared between user 1 and user 2. Then we are creating an array of messages shared between them. Then we are inserting all needed information into that array. When inserting information into that array, we are also updating seen and unseen state of messages like this. Then we are JSON encoding the array that we just created like this. And finally we are echoing it like this. Alright now let's go to save chat text.php file. First from top of this we are getting the json encoded request object like this. Then we are decoding that object like this. Then from here we are getting current date and time like this. Then finally we are inserting current date and time senders id receivers id and message into our database. So that's all for today's episode folks, see you in the next video, bye.